Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. In the last episode, oh, we made a lot of mistakes. We made a lot of mistakes. We just kind of struck out across the board. These things happen occasionally. One of them was, you know, a simple mistake. Uh, sorry. One of them was a was a very uh, avoidable mistake, which is that I just flew myself directly into the surface of Ash. Sorry, of Ember Twin very quickly. The other one was less, uh, one of the other ones was was less obvious. We tried to walk around Timber Hearth and see if people had new dialogue. They didn't have it. And then uh, I died to uh, some oxygen trying, lack of oxygen trying an experiment on Ash Twin. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do some more exploring um, at the Ash Twin Towers. However, I had a thought. Which is that we're sort of like running into uh, a problem when we try and explore Ash Twin. Which is that we uh, don't have enough. How, sorry, how do I phrase this? We don't have like um, a lot to do for the first part of the episode. We're just kind of waiting for Ash to disappear. We just need to be on Ash Twin sort of at the end of the episode or at least midway through. Sorry, the end of a time loop, midway through a time loop. So I had a thought. We're setting course for Ash Twin right now. However, what we're actually going to be aiming for here is a near thing that I am still interested in. Which is, nope, that's shit. Wrong, wrong button. And that is the Sun Station. Ha ha! Sun Station. If I can just get onto it, we'll see. Put that away. Can I la latch onto you? Can I latch onto you? Oh, I'm gonna fly directly into the sun. Is that what? Wait, 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 wait. Is that what we learned last time? Shit! Is that what we learned last time? Wait, I need to think about this. Did we learn that you can't go there? That you need to teleport there? I think this is what we learned, right? Shit! If that's the case, I need to do something else. I need to do something else. I can't do that. Um. Well. Damn. We could try landing on it. There's no chance it's gonna work out though, right? There's just no chance it'll work out well. Like, I, I'm... I kinda wanna try now. All right, if we can just stay at an even, maybe we can do it. If we could just stay at an even, Distance from the sun, currently 3,000 meters and closing. Nope, yep, nope, 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 you cannot. Nope, oh uh, no. Fuck. Alright, scrap it all, we got a new approach to today's episode. Hey friends, hello, welcome to Outer Wilds. Uh, I said at the end of the last episode that three strikes and you're out. Four strikes, and you never should have been able to go to bat in the first place. Okay, uh, something entirely different. Let's get a change of scenery. I would honestly go talk to Gabbro, except that I'm not 100% sure that Gabbro would have new dialogue. So I think it's time to probably just go back to uh, Brittle Hollow and get good at doing the Sunless City. So let's figure that out. Or sorry, Hanging City. Hanging City? Oh! Wait a second. The hanging, the hanging city and the old settlement are two separate things. Like I knew that they were, sorry, I knew that they were two separate things in terms of name, but I thought of them as basically one blob in the actual, on the actual planet. Uh, okay. So, this is going to be the Brittle Hollow episode. Uh, or at least it's going to be the start of our our thinking here. Rybeck was headed there to see what was happening at the South Pole. Southern Observatory. Um, they were going to make a eye locator there. Um, two paths that go there. Gravity Cannon, Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Ocean Current Discovery happened there. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. There's an, a Quantum Shard. Let's freaking go for... 
That uniquely shaped Nomai Ruin is actually a warp, for sure. A warp, uh, a warp thing. Okay. Now I wonder if I actually got this. Let's go here. This is where we're going to start. We're going to go to Escape Pod 1. I don't know that I actually found its, uh, its signal using my, um, I don't know, that's the Quantum Moon. Nice. Using my signal scope. <laughs> oh, man. Bear with me today, guys. Some days you sit down to uh, record an episode, record a game, and things just come so smoothly. Sorry, I need to look for escape pod right there. Go. And then some days, oh, things just keep not working for you. And uh, so far today, things have not been uh, particularly smooth. But we'll get there. And we'll have a good attitude about it on the way. And that's what matters. All right, we're going to get to the escape pod. Let's re uh, reiterate what we know here, which is that Northern Glacier has the warp tower. Southern Glacier, look at this very full planet right now, by the way. Planet that actually... Uh, is basically whole. And then I just watched something land directly on it. All right, so here's our escape tower. Yep. Or sorry, escape pod. We're gonna land here. In fact, I think I remember there being. Oh no, I think I remember there being like a gravity place. Nope, that must be somewhere else. Okay. Let's just land it like right here. Fantastic. Get the fuck out of here. Um, Northern Glacier has the warp tower. Southern Observatory has the other thing. First things first, uh, distress beacon, episode one. I th it looks, it appears that it is, if it says episode, sorry, if it says escape pod one, I think that means it must be detected. So, done. Let's reiterate what we know here. Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured. Two or three, unable to make contact. Um, uh, my gratitude. The moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourself swiftly. Volcanic moon has returned. We need to find sheltering quickly. All right. There are platforms down. That's right. Okay. I'm still going to try and go inside of the ship. Sorry. I feel like I'm probably retracing my steps here, but I, I just want to be sure. <laughs> Um, and also when we're reading dialogue, time is paused, so that's totally fine. We know all that. Cool. Minor structural instabilities detected. Oh, the freaking irony. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy. Supposedly, it is hospitable. Sure. Oh, no, I just broke that. That was dumb. All right. Okay. Black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Sure, sure, sure. Like, the fact that I broke this shit by... <gasps> using my, uh... Getting the escape pod out. Sure. All right. We're going to want to come up with a method to get down here very quickly. And I don't know exactly what this is. Don't wander far from here. Area is somewhat unstable, but it... Uh, sorry. Somewhat unstable. It's smoother than any... Safer than any we've found. Cautious of stuff. Okay. This is the area we've read part of. We've 100% read that. We've read part of the ones around here. Here's the eye thing. This is where we found the... Uh, somewhere in here. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. Older than the universe itself, sure. No no my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. It's interesting that in this situation they say Thatch says what rare and profound knowledge. So it's like the the, the seeking of knowledge that is so uh, interesting about the eye. 
signal looked like an eye round with the center, a circle at the center like a pupil. Alright, so we saw the murals somewhere over here. Um, okay, we're going to try and go quickly. I don't know if this place falls apart in the same order every time or not. We're going to have to figure things like this out. Okay. Um, something fell. Great. Love that. Read. Be well, Aunt Mellorae. Okay. I'm boosting as quickly as I can because I really want to try and get as much of this done as we can. Pain of your absence is sharp and haunting. I'd give anything not to know it. Anything but never knowing you at all, which would be worse. Holy shit. The pain of your absence is sharp and haunting. And I would give anything not to know it. Anything except for never knowing you at all, which would be worse. I can only hope you are safe, Keek, wherever you are. I love the moments like this where they make it so personal, right? Like, this cast of characters is not a... It's not a, uh, uh, it's not like a, a list of replaceable names, right? They're individuals who had individual relationships and different ways of expressing that. And God, that is a fucking image to look over that ledge. Um, yeah. Let's try and go up here. Um, I think I'm, I don't know if I've been here before. Maybe, maybe not. God, the sense of urgency is so fucking real right now. Okay, I don't know that I've been here before. I also don't know that this is particularly important right here where I am, except it does have a tree, so that's good. Oh, buddy! Oh, buddy! Okay. So, that was the one that had... No, this was the one that had it. It's interesting how it's kind of tough to tell which one's which here. These are the three murals. Why did the vessel crash in that place? Which I think is Dark Bramble, yeah. Was the vessel unwell in some way? We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. Me too. Warp core and navigation systems were both well. So. What's falling? That's not the one I'm going for. It's interesting to come back to those murals now, knowing what the F I'm looking at, right? Check this out, by the way. Holy shit. I think that's the gravity cannon, potentially. That might be the tower. It's really hard to tell. I have no idea. I know it feels like we're re retracing our steps here, but I think that a little bit of that might be necessary to feel as if we get the full understanding of where we are. Uh, of an area that is actively falling apart. And I've already done this one. Okay, so in that case, I think we are really close to having fully explored this central platform. Many of them have two, many of these columns have two levels and I cannot confirm that we've done every one of them. However, that's the path around for the third time. Should I follow this one? I could. All right, we jump so that I can boost quickly. I think this is the first time I've done this while so much of it is still intact. Holy cow. Check this out. This has always been a, like a minefield for me. Gravity 1.7. God, I'm using a lot of fuel doing that. I probably shouldn't do it. I think in low gravity, it would be pretty effective. But. Through here. Okay. No. 
You know, another thing I have not done since we've been here. Dozen meters. He's on this planet again? Wait a second. Uh oh. Did I just die? Oh no. Oh no. Put the signal scale away. Oh my god, is it fine? Oh my god, it's not fine. Holy fucking shit. Okay. Uh, hold up. Where the fuck are we again? <laughs> I feel drunk. Oh my god. Alright, so that is the elevator system. Yeah? Let's get over to the elevator system quickly. So, uh, what are the odds that this all... Hmm, I have no idea. Um... Okay. We can do this. School district is one. Melt water. Ice shrine. And then black hole. So I think that means we're right, right over here is school. Is school. So we should explore all this and know and try and check off the list of, of school. And then level two is on this side, right above me, right here. I think level two is eye shrine, maybe meltwater. I can't remember. Um, all right, we're gonna be going a little quick here, but honestly, uh, shit. I think that's gonna be a little bit necessary. We just came from this direction. Um, it's hard gravity too. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Okay, oh buddy. I need to go right there. Oh no, I, oh no, I just fell. Fuck! God, God it's so hard! Okay. Uh, put away with Q. Let's make the most of it. Make the most of runs like this one. This should be Whitehall Station, yeah? Give me that sweet, sweet gravity. Thank you. Okay. Whew. Hmm. We're in an interesting spot right now. I'm feeling a little bit like, uh, a little bit like out of, uh, out of sorts. Nothing close around here. I'm wanting to check a little bit more with frequencies, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. Uh, Distress Speaking should be on Dark Bramble and Deep Space Radio, I don't really know. Radio Towers, 1400 that way. And otherwise, Unknown is 5,000 meters that direction. Hold up. Is it whatever that red thing is? Whoa! What's the red thing? God, I love the visual effect of the white hole where even the text you are here gets, uh, gets, uh, huh. I don't know what the fuck that is. I need oxygen though. So, oh, what should we do while we're out here? Here's the question, right? We've been to white hole station. Oh shit, wrong one. A couple times now. Or one time now. But I think we've hypothetically done... Oh my god. Everything here. So, do we try and save our life here? Or do we... I don't even know if I have a way. 
I don't remember if there's trees in here. There are. Okay. That's a relief. This is the one that takes me back to Brutal Hollow. So I could go back. So maybe, it's, oh shit, maybe it's just that easy. Holy shit. I mean, we have to set it spinning. So, holy God. That's actually kind of crazy. Uh, so, part of, well, hold up. Part of why, I just realized, part of why a whole station's like gaming function, like game design function is just people are gonna fall through the white hole a lot when they're in Brittle Hollow. And so then you just aim for this shit, get inside, and then launch yourself back. Oh, fuck. The problem is it puts you on the North Glacier, right? I think it'll put me on the North Glacier. And then I'm gonna be far away from... Here's the next question. Do we have any fuel? Do we have any fuel here? God, sometimes I wish the, uh, we do. That's right. Let's go. Sometimes I wish the game had a, I wish the, the log that you have for, uh, on the ship was available at all times. <laughs> all right. Well, time to, here goes nothing. Uh, this ought to be fun. Let's just take a look around this, around this planet a little bit. Yeah. There's a quantum tower that way, it looks like. Should we go back there for the 16th time and see what happens? Here's the other question. On this planet is the unknown. 200 meters that way. just gonna send it that was that was dumb I didn't just gonna send it just gonna send it it's the worst that could possibly happen we're coming in way hot way hot Woo! Woo! Uh, at the very least I should just be reading just, just at least read to pause time holy shit Hanging city. Uh, gravity cannon. Uh, something or other. That's probably gonna appear on our ship's log. I hope so. Gravity cannons that way. Where is that? Where is this voice coming from? Is it down? Oh, the faith this is taking. Oh, the sheer faith this is taking. Oh, buddy. Where are you? You son of a bitch. Come over here. Holy God. Ryback, you beautiful son of a gun. It's been too long. I don't know that I've ever seen you. Imagine that healed you. Wouldn't that be funny? Oh. Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job, you. I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow. But you probably knew that. A lot of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes. Ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civiliza civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that, I've out that I'm out here. You want to know how I even got this far? I fell. I tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable, instead of being sucked into... 
what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout. And this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity. So I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? Honestly, I did. Tell me anything you want to tell me. Huh, that'd be... Yeah. What are you doing out here? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Or, um, the archaeologist, I guess. Seeing as I'm all Timber Hearth Scout right now. Brittle Hollow is rich with no my history. That's why I'm here. This planet's an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. Oh, the stinging weight of this sentence. Oh. The stinging weight of this sentence landing on us as the world, as the earth, the, the, the planet itself is falling apart, right? It's a treasure trove of culture, history, and science, and in 10 minutes, it will be nothing but dust. I mean, technically, all of this stuff will just be out outside of the white hole in weird places that we can still explore, but... If you have any questions about the Brittle Hollow Nomai, I'm your Harthian. So, um... Or, um, I have some knowledge of them, I mean. So, maybe I can help? Hey, where should I explore here? Where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole, actually. That's, uh, very no. Which is unfortunate, because that's the most exciting- The most exciting stuff is all below the crust. Including the hanging city that's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface, trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Okay? Good luck with exploring. If you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it if it's not too much trouble. Hey, Ryback. I learned something. Oh, cool. What is it? Well... I found the Nomai escape pod on Brittle Hollow. Wow. So then the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. Then they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? Okay. Hold up here. Hold up here. This is a very routine question, but it is confusing me a little bit at this moment. They launched here. And they, they escape potted here. The vessel made it to our system, right? Our solar system. Our planetary system. The escape pods left. And then... They built everything that we know here? This entire place? The star system, the, the sun station, the Ash Twinning project, the everything? All from the escape pod? It must be because... I just started to realize that, like, I think this is right, that we're witnessing, like, maybe nine, maybe six, Nomai, a, a, a number like that, that land on this, in this star system, sorry, planetary system, um, and then give birth, and give birth to everything that's here. It does make more sense because, like, we know that Solanum was more of an adult at one point and also a kid. We saw Solanum's childish handwriting and also... Where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about it and why the Nomai arrived here. I learned something. I saw the old settlement. Isn't it amazing? It's hard to believe the settlement is still standing, but there it is. Well, no, it's not really anymore, but for now. It really makes you appreciate living somewhere like Timber Hearth. Somewhere that isn't being constantly bombarded with meteors and rocks and stuff. This is me when I learned facts about Mars. God, we live on an incredible fucking planet. And Mars is a cool planet too, but ours is particularly incredible for life. I saw the Hanging City on Brittle Hollow. You visited the Hanging City? Oh gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the Nomai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement here. Yeah. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to a you-know-what is beyond me. I believe it's because they were using it. Like, I think they sort of used the White Hole Station to travel. But does it just go there and back? 
I'm still figuring out like the interstate system here, right? Like there's from somewhere, from Ash Twin, there is a from Ash Twin, there are portals to like five different planets, including the sun. I don't know. Maybe that kind of thing makes sense to a Nomai though. Maybe they needed the black hole for something. True. Um, probably for their 22 minute time loop. Hey, I learned something. I saw the Sunless City on Ember Twin. There's another Nomai City inside of Ember Twin. That's incredible. A whole city. I had no idea it existed. This is great. How'd they keep the sand out? <laughs> they didn't. If it were me, I'd be nervous about getting buried in the caves by that awful river of sand. <laughs> Gosh, the Nomai sure were ingenious building an entire settlement underground. The Sunless City. Wow. That means there were two groups of Nomai. One that lived on Ember Twin and one that lived here on Brittle Hollow. They must have traveled around the solar system since no my writing can be found on other planets too. They did. I went to the comet and dot dot dot. Oh wow. Wow. So that's how the Nomai died? That's really sad, isn't it? I know it was a long time ago, but still. Stars above, it's lucky we hadn't evolved to live on land yet. Okay. Oh, I don't know how to feel right now. Oh God, someday this whole thing is gonna make sense, but for now it so does not. Oh, Ryback says, to think if the comet hadn't killed them, our species might have coexisted in this solar system. That would have been amazing. But I guess if I had, hadn't wanted to learn why the Nomad disappeared, I'd never have left Timber Hearth and came out here. I'm gonna reread that one because here's the thing. I don't know that that is necessarily how the Nomai died. It's at least how two Nomai died, right? Which is escape pod, lands on interloper. Some of them go down. They find the like exploded structure basically that I think ghost matter came from. They died trying to escape. I don't know. Oh, is it true that we aren't coexisting in this solar system? Is it truly that old? Then why are they just starting this time loop now? I don't know. And how would they do it if they were already dead? Oh man, this game. I don't know at all. Hmm. Oh man, it's gonna make sense someday, but it doesn't make sense for now. At fires, we can doze off, which just reminded me that I now know how we get to Ash Twin late in the time loop every time. We don't have to waste time. We can just doze off on our planet to start. Timber Hearth. Okay, uh, it's time to soak up as much of this uh, time loop as we can here. Um, Tower of Quantum Knowledge West, a bunch. Here's the thing. I don't know that that goes where you think it does, friends. I really don't. I think we're near the end of this planet's lifespan. Don't know that that goes where you think it does. Um, That's where we came from, I think. That's just propelling me away from the black hole for sure. Yeah? Doesn't change that one. It just changes this one. Should we ride it? We could try. Hmm. I don't know how much, how much we're going to have left here, but I'm loving the chill banjo in the background. West 150 meters. I think that's probably gone. What do you think? All right. See ya. Don't go into the black hole. Oh no, I'm going into the black hole. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna die. I didn't die, but I am going into the black hole. All right, fuck.
Hold up. What's that? That is giant Steve. Okay. All right. So here's the thing. We have lots of fuel, a little bit of, uh, lots of fuel, lots of oxygen. <sighs> Tons of things have fallen through this place. I think it might make sense now to try for... It's hard in zero in zero Gs, I know. I don't know what these items are. But I think it might make sense now to go for, like, a tower. A quantum knowledge of some, or something. You know? Maybe that one. I don't know. I can't tell... What's good and what's, what's, what's worth exploring and what's not right now. But I'm learning that we might as well just make an opportunity of the, uh, of the life that we have while we still have it, you know? Oh God, oh God. All right, nope. Oh Lord. I don't know how much oxygen we're gonna have <laughs> here before too long. Hmm. It's tough because I can't decide if it's if it's nice to have anything. I can't decide if it's intelligent to be exploring out here in White Station or no. Because God, it's got to be hard on the oxygen, and it's tough with zero gravity too, frankly. And it seems like probably the best way is just to use the White Hole Station and get back, but. Oh, man, we're approaching the end of a loop. Oh, buddy, I'm going to crash and die. Okay, some stuff here. Some lights. Some signs of habitation. God, I'm using literally all of my oxygen here. Okay. Some stuff over there. But I don't know if any of it's any good, you know? I'm so lost out here, you know? So fucking lost. This one's got a couple doorways on it. It's got this little tractor beam looking, the gravity beam. This is the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay, so I did make it. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, I made it. Incredible. Some gravity right there, which could be nice. Nope, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. I think the sun's about to explode. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? All right, time to make peace with it. Thanks so much for watching this episode. We learned some things. We also... We lost some other things, for sure, but... We met Ryback, which is cool. Oh my god, I'm floating in space so it's not gonna reach us out here i don't think actually wait wait it reaches us out here but it didn't reach me when i was in really deep space <sighs> i'd be lying if i said that loop felt like a, a, a massive success but we made it we tried our best which is all we can do we're going to piece it together eventually. I've got more questions than I've got answers these days. Ugh. But that just leaves me hungrier for, an for answers. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you tomorrow for another one. If you did, a like and a positive comment down below helps us out a ton. I'll see you guys in the comments to find out what uh, words I said the most this episode. Bye-bye.